Welcome to The Bottom Line. I'm Chan Helfeld and our guest is Chris Matthews with Hardball. He just finished an interesting program on the Republican presidential candidate debate. Thank you for being on The Bottom Line. Thank you. So we were talking a moment ago about what is the important issue that differentiates these Republican candidates as well as uh, one of the issues that differentiates the president and some of the candidates. Well, let me ask you, let me just tell you, I'm absolutely convinced that the reason President Obama is president is because he opposed the Iraq war. That separated him from uh, now Secretary Clinton, who was very popular in the party and had tremendous support, not just from women, but right across the party. And her husband was a very popular figure. How was he able to upset, and really it wasn't upset, Senator Clinton, and she was a senator from New York at the time, the issue of the war. He had opposed the war and she had, she had voted to authorize it. And although she qualified that later by saying she didn't think they would go the way they did, she did vote to, to support it. And I really think that's going to be a, a, an important division in the election coming up. There is a candidate in the Republican Party that has the same position, right? Ron Paul. Yes, but he, you know, He's against, certainly he was I support against, the war, and I think a lot of the he things... He was against the, yeah, and I think he a lot, was against I think the war in Iraq, right? Yeah, and I think he has a lot of the foreign policy positions that people like me like. I think he doesn't believe in overextension of our empire, if you will, in the world. He doesn't think the United States should be this kind of overwhelming force in the Middle East, that we should be uh, uh, respectful of other countries in a way that Bush promised to do when he ran. He said he was going to practice a humility in foreign policy, and he never did. And I guess he would chalk that up to 9-11, but I don't think that's acceptable. Uh, so I think that's going to be an issue, the, the belligerence with which these countries talk about the Middle East, their uh, lack of respect for the Palestinian cause, their almost uh, disdain for the Palestinian people, which they express over and over again. People like, uh, like, like uh, not just Romney, but uh, Newt and all of them, they speak about the Middle East in biblical language rather than historic language. They ignore the presence of the Palestinians. They treat them as some sort of... Uh, interlopers or usurpers or unnecessary people as if we can solve the problem by simply taking Israel's side. Of course we're a pro-Israeli country, we always have been, but we have to recognize what Israel recognizes, what most people in Israel recognize, the need to coexist with the Palestinian people and to respect them. And I don't think our candidates talk like the average Israeli when it comes to supporting Israel's interests, which is strange. So you agree with Ron Paul that we shouldn't have gone to the war with Iraq and we shouldn't be nation building